Dave, unbeaten in your first five league games, it's the first time County have done that since 1993. Uh, are you satisfied with, with the start you've had to the, to the season? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with where, we're, where we are. Um, does that uh, take away from the fact that I think we could have had a couple more points? Yeah, we probably could, but um, I'd be ultra miserable if I didn't or wasn't happy with, with, with where we currently sit. In saying that, do I, I think that there's been good bits from the game? Yeah, I think there's been loads of good bits. Um, do I think there's loads of improvement? Yeah, I think there's loads of improvement. So um, positives from both sides of the, both sides of the coin in that, in that instance. Great to see so many players back from injury on Tuesday night. Has everyone come through that game un relatively unscathed? Yeah, fine. Um, which, again, is great because it gets them closer to to a return, if, if you like, in terms of um, full match fitness. Um, not so great in terms of decisions that we have to we have to make and, and team we have to pick because we have to upset some people. Um, but that's hopefully going to be the in the right way, uh, when I say hopefully, the the situation that we find ourselves over over the the rest of the season. If that was that's the case, then that's ideal for us. As you say, it's it's a different kind of problem for for you and the coaching staff. Now, what's the the key, I suppose, to maybe not keeping everyone happy, but keeping everyone pulling in the in the same direction. I think everyone's come here knowing what the objectives are of of this season. Um, and of course, on the pitch, it's to, and in terms of what the league table looks like, it's to compete and, and, and be in and around it, for uh, hopefully for the, the whole of the season, but certainly for, for as long as possible and push. But across the board, it's to, it's to improve. So it's to improve individually, it's to improve unit-wise, collectively. And there are plenty of different strings of what that looks like. I, I get that from a footballer's perspective, being picked in the starting eleven on a Saturday is, is, is why you is why you do it. But we've got to look a little bit deeper in, in, in terms of what that looks like and make sure that everybody's ready. It's shown at the start of the season that um, we're going to need different people at different times uh, and that will continue to, to be the case. So there will be lads disappointed over the coming weeks. Um, but they've got to Again, understand that we all make decisions in individual games based on what our what our feelings are and what we think. Um, and there's every possibility we get some of them wrong. Um, they've got to make sure that they're ready and they and they deal with that as best as possible. And we'll help them along along the way doing that. Great to see Michael Mellon back in the building this week. What has his recovery looked like? I think the initial prognosis was maybe a lot worse than it is as it's panned out. Yeah, they, they've. That Burnley decided to be conservative in terms of his management of, of his injury. Um, so he's fit and, and available to, I suppose, to play is, is, the, is the wrong thing. Is he is he available to get half an hour if we needed half an hour? Yeah, he is. Um, we've got to use the, the coming weeks to, to build him up because he's not done a lot in terms of, in terms of loading um, and make sure that when he is fit to play, he's ready to go properly and, and there's not going to be the risk of consequences as a result of that. Are any of the other players that maybe haven't featured in recent weeks likely to be back? Ryan Rydell, Jay Mingy, people like that? No, um, they're not far away. So they're an end stage sort of rehab, if you like. Um, but haven't joined in with the with the main group. Um, but that probably occurs either on Monday or, or early part of next week. Um, so again, we reassess where, where they are, but more bodies that come back into the into the squad. Looking back to, to Saturday now, your home form has been strong for a long time now. Eight wins from your last nine games at Edgeley Park. The only one you didn't win was the Blackburn Rovers game, which obviously had its own circumstances. That's going to be so important to anything that you achieve this season, isn't it? A strong home record. Yeah, any any successful team, um, the the large part of that is the, is the home form and how... Um, how they perform, um, and, and I've always said we have got to take advantage of having the support that we have in, in the ground and make it a difficult place to come, and that's our responsibility on the pitch, and hopefully the supporters um, continue to go alongside that in terms of the, the support they give us and, and allow us to, to perform in a way that will let us win win football matches. Um, it, like I say, it's something we've done over the, the, the period of time that, that I've been here and before, and before that, um, and we have to continue and make sure that that, that is always the case. Just finally on Leighton Orient, we've had a, maybe a slow start to the season, but obviously got that win at Reading last week. And when you look at what they did last season, a, presumably a, a better team than they've shown so far, what kind of threat do you think they will pose on Saturday? Yeah, it's a better team than what they've shown so far. I think they've had some really tough games. If you look at, again, I know football's not played on paper, but you look at um, the games that they've had to, had to play, that 
the, the, the difficult games and and they've lost in in the main by the odd goal. I think they'll be disappointed in the, the, the game at Shrewsbury that they lost, um, but they've bounced back from that and as you say got their, their first win um, at Reading, so we'll come um, to our place in, in, a, in a slightly different frame of mind. Um, but I suppose hoping that um, uh, from our perspective, they see it as a tough game, but likewise, we see it as a tough game and, and, and understand that what, what we have to do, they've got threats, they've got a little bit different in terms of in terms of their recruitment, but they'll be looking to better what they did last year. And they were they were comfortable in the division last year and pushing towards the, I suppose, the top half and then playoff positions. And I'm sure that'll be the, their aim. Um, we've obviously got our own aims that we need to um, try and stick to and, and try and try and achieve. Um, and winning again on Saturday will, will be will be one of them um, but like I say the, the big thing for us is is the improvement factor if we can control our performance and be better than we were last week then I think we give ourselves a, a, a more than equal chance of, of winning the game but I'm sure Leighton already are coming thinking exactly the same thing. Appreciate it Sandra. thank you. Welcome, cheers, thank you.